Hello world, this is Nick Jackson and this is your One Word Wednesday. Today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, generosity. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on our One Word Wednesday. If you like what we're talking about, if you like what we're doing, join our team. At the end of this video, you're going to see some links. Click it, share it, pair it, all that kind of stuff. Join us as we love one another. Peace. Welcome to your One Word Wednesday. I'm Nick Jackson, and today we're talking about generosity. It's funny because like, I never saw myself as a generous person, right? Really, to be honest with you, I didn't see that I could be generous if I didn't have a lot of excess money. Right. So generosity to me would be seen as someone with excess money, like lots of money, like dumb money, like unfair money, ridiculous, not even unfair money. That's probably weird. But I mean, like just enough money to have the money to, to fall out your pockets. And then that person would be able to be generous. Everyone else is, is robbed of the ability of being generous because they don't have enough money. This is a lie. This is the, the, the thing about generosity that I want you to understand it to be generous. It all it means is that you're sharing without complaint. Like that's it. Like, like I don't have to have a lot of money to do. I don't, I don't need to have a lot of money to be generous. All I have to do is share. That's it. Generosity is just sharing. Oh, one of the best things I do every year. I, I get to see, I, I should say, I run this organization where we do hair and nails for homeless women and children, right? And there's nothing better than to see someone come and get their hair cut and then cut, turn around and say, how do I say thank you for your generosity? Because at that point, that's what I'm like. I need you to volunteer. Like, I don't need you to go and get your friends and come here. I need you right now, right, right now, wherever you are. I don't care about your addiction, where you're coming from, whatever, right? Wherever you are, pick up a comb and hand it to a kid. Let's go. Let's be generous. Oh my gosh, we can be generous with our time. We can be generous with our gifts. We can be generous with so many different things. One Another way that, that, that we can be generous is with our words. See, that's what Speak Love is about. There's enough people in this world that are going to tell you that you suck. Like there's going to be multitudes of people. There's actually a marketing campaign right now to let you believe, especially if you're a little girl, that you're ugly. Or if you're a little boy, that you're not manly enough, right? And you need to buy my products, right? So you could be the dude, right? Or you could be pretty or you could be chosen, right? And and all of these things are set up, right, to extract your money, right, and your mind. Now, when you're generous with your words, you're actually building into your mental bank, right? And when those words are generous, like, I love myself, the, I love parts of myself, the, I, I, am, I see where I was and I see where I'm going and I might not be all the way there, but man, I'm better today, 1% better than I was yesterday, I challenge you to be generous with your words, with your time. And oh, oh, the most important thing. Okay, okay, okay. So for me, right, I couldn't be generous because I didn't feel like I had enough money. Also, I didn't feel like I was gonna get anything in return. Therefore, why would I be generous with you with my time? Why would I be generous with you with, with my emotional space? Why would I be generous with you with anything if I'm not gonna, if I don't know in the beginning that I'm gonna be getting it back plus more? Now, there's this system that's going around that we see in front of us. And then there's this other system that we believe in our hearts. And that's that we have more than enough. Even if we might feel, feel poor in a certain sect, we have more than enough. I could be generous with you. I remember I was giving out uh, uh, um, uh, sandwiches and there's one left, right? And there's one dude, I don't know if he was homeless or transient, but he was in line. You feel what I'm saying? And he took his sandwich and he turned around and he broke it in half and he gave it to the next guy so we both get to eat today. And I was like, what? Now, if I didn't have nothing, like if I didn't have nothing, right? I don't know if I'd ever share half of all that I had with someone that I don't even know. Oh my gosh, I remember one time, uh, I, 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 I mean, I've done a lot of work in homeless shelters and I don't want to just talk about the homeless and because generosity is, is, just, is, is just as important to rich people than it is with poor people. A lot of times we miss that. We miss that. We think that only poor people are in need. What need is, is, is a lack. And just because you have money doesn't mean that you don't lack love. You feel me? So I had the opportunity to sit 
and listen to some beautiful, beautiful words of wisdom from this man on the street in Charleston, South Carolina. And he said, I want you to know that an old fool was once a young fool. Now, I don't know which one you are. He's like, I don't know how old you are. But if you catch yourself being a young fool, change your ways before you end up like me. And I felt so bad because even though his wisdom was so dope, he was looking at himself as an old fool. Don't be an old fool. Speak love.